Well, let's get back now to breaking news that we've been following for days. Protest at local college campuses surrounding the war in Gaza. Things really picked up at George Washington University just in the last five hours and as we enter the fifth day of protest there. And Randy Ayala joins us now live. And Randy, you've been out there uh, for the past two hours and last week for two days in a row. You've seen this encampment mm -hmm. um, expand. Yeah, uh, good morning, Allison. It is. Um, it's expanded a lot since uh, we covered this last week. So I'm standing in the middle of H Street uh, right now. You can see I'm just surrounded by tents. Uh, so that's something new that we hadn't seen before. Uh, those this encampment now spilling out onto H Street, uh, more tents taking over University Yard as well. And and now that it's a bit lighter out here, we can get a, a better scope of exactly what's going on. Um, also looking, getting a look here at the uh, supply table too. So we know that early this morning, uh, protesters uh, tore down the metal barricades that GW staff set up when we were out here uh, on Friday. Uh, we know the university wanted to block off access to University Yard, um, the reason why they put up those barricades, but those are since gone and uh, people right now have unrestricted access to University Yard. Uh, so we're seeing uh, many, many more tents here set up. I'm also getting a look. Uh, I don't know if we can um, zoom in there, but I see the uh, the metal barricades. They're all in a pile um, in the middle of University Yard there. So we know protesters tore those down uh, early, early this morning. Uh, things are calm now, but as Allison mentioned, it's just grown so much. Uh, since we first covered this. According to the student newspaper, uh, seven protesters have been suspended and right now facing misconduct charges. We also know that uh, the university requested MPD's help in clearing this encampment, but that didn't happen. Um, I do want to mention, too, that H Street uh, between 19th and 21st is now uh, closed off. We have officers stationed on either side because of uh, all the tents in the middle of the street. Uh, but that's the situation right now so far. I haven't seen any protesters moved or arrested. I did talk to an officer early this morning. He told me he did not believe uh, that any protesters out here had been arrested. But again, we were out here last week. We'll continue to monitor what happens uh, and we'll bring you the very latest. But it has grown so much uh, since protesters first came out here Thursday morning at 6 a.m. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, that is clear to see. Randy, thank you so much. Meantime, about four hours south of D.C., similar protest in Virginia Tech came to a head. According to our partners at The Washington Post, arrests were made just in the last five hours, although they, we are still working to confirm how many people were taken into custody. Post online indicate hundreds of people were demonstrating there for the past few days. Meanwhile, at Columbia University in New York, where the campus movement began, today is the last day for classes, but the encampment remains. Universities nationwide are under more pressure now to respond to the protest as graduation season gets underway.